This past weekend were the OCA extravaganza in Cleveland, Ohio. If you've never been before and live anywhere in the surrounding states, we'll make sure you pay him a visit next year. Great show. So let's take a look. So this right here is one of two rooms and this was where the auction was held on Sunday and right now it was Saturday afternoon and there's just a swap meet going on which was really cool to see. I didn't actually get any fish here but there looked to be some great ones on offer. Here in the vendor room we've got plecocaves.com, any kind of style or size you could ever want and then we've got some extreme foods there which I'm still yet to try in the hobby but I always hear good things about it so I'm going to have to try it at some point. Around the corner, we've got another vendor who seemed to just be selling a plethora of things from Northwind products to AquaClear filters and everything else you could ever want. Here we've got Mike Cichlids. I did actually pick up a few fish from Mike Cichlids, so I'll show you them in a later video. But now let's take a look at some of the fish for sale at the event. As you've just seen, there were some awesome fish on display, including these guys from Imperial Tropicals. And this is without including all the local breeders that were in rooms, and some of their stock were absolutely quality. Here we've got Scales, who does some amazing artwork of every kind of fish you can ever imagine, from Nairai to killifish and gobies and German blue rams. They're really, really neat. Here we've got a big sponge filter collection. Some koi food and some Omega One super color food, which I actually feed my fish right now, so that was pretty cool to see. And then we've got some sponge corner filters as well, all different sizes, which obviously is able to cater to different hobbyist size tanks. And this system was 
really, really neat. And it's something that I'm strongly debating when I eventually pick up the fish room. So this is just a basic look at what we have going on here. The show seems to be pretty busy all day. And right over there, Mr. Jay Wilson, who was stationed right next to the North Finn Canada station. So got some food there and then spoke to Jay for a little bit. And he was actually there with Fritz Aquatics. And Jay was kind enough to hook me up with some of their products to try. And he also spoke to me and Pittsburgh Pets, who I went to the OCA convention with about the product for quite a while. So I'm really interested to try that. And of course, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Got a nice little photo with him. If you haven't seen that, it's on our Instagram. Check it out. Jay seemed like a really cool guy and hopefully we can uh, stay in contact in the future. Whew. But then it was time for home. Two and a half, three hour drive back to Pittsburgh. But once we arrived, opened up our little bag of goodies. Everybody seemed to be good. We set up this 10 gallon tank with a new Aquatop heater that I just got at the event. Used some of the Fritz Zyme from Fritz Aquatics just to help add even more beneficial bacteria to the system. Even though that sponge has been cycled for about a year and a half, I still thought it would at least help a little bit. So acclimated them, got them in the tanks. Happy days. We'll show you those on the next one. And we'll also be bringing you a tour of something fishy in Cleveland, Ohio where we take a look at some of the amazing fish that Dave Hale, the owner, has got in the basement. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you on the next one.